Dynamic Disc Designs introduces a lumbar model with embedded nuclear particles to demonstrate nuclear migration under different vectoring loads. Seen here through L4, scattered particles throughout the nucleus pulposus, as well as an annular fissure and also inflammatory granulation tissue. Clearly seen here, the nucleus will move relative to the force vectors used in compression. Right lateral flexion will demonstrate left nuclear shifting. Compression as well as flexion, importantly, pushes the nucleus posteriorly into the posterior annulus and into the radial fissure. This is an important topic that should be discussed with patients that demonstrate pain and flexion. Morning stiffness is often pathognomonic for a degenerative disc due to the hyperinflation or hyperhydration and the consequence of bending forward upon first rising. Getting patients to quickly understand how flexion pushes the nucleus posteriorly or backwards into the innervated outer annulus will help the doctor improve outcomes by getting patients to understand their own posture. I invite you to explore dynamic disc designs.